Now, the city of Fayetteville is preparing to welcome a worldwide audience for the 2022 Walmart UCI Cyclocross World Championships. Brandon Pack is here from Experience Fayetteville with all the details you need to know, especially we're going to talk about specifically the course, the course today that yeah. the cyclists mm -hmm. are going uh, to be on. But to start things off, if people don't know, what is cyclocross? That is a great question. So a little bit about cyclocross. It is truly the most spectator friendly forms of all professional cycling. Of course, they are short in design, right? So think of a circuit. They're typically two miles in length. Really creates for one of the most spectator friendly forms of all of cycling. Fans can literally see most of the action from a couple vantage points. And then we pack that course full of all these obstacles built to really challenge the athletes mm -hmm. lap after lap. Yeah, absolutely. That. Speaking of challenging the athletes, what can the riders expect from the course to be challenged so <laughs> we have truly constructed a race course capable of hosting world caliber events and okay. the features these obstacles we're talking about absolutely fit the bill one i'll talk about there's a stair feature out there we call the 39 climb think about it it is 39 steps and every single lap these athletes are going to have to throw that bike over their shoulder wow. run up those stairs Oof. before dropping off the stairs are so tall it literally changed the elevation of the mountain once we finished them wow, wow. that is impressive jason we did talk about you practicing that how's that going <laughs> yeah great i've walked up just like two flights of stairs keep since going the last time we, we believe in talking you. about that i'm not sure <laughs> i'm there yet and you kind of mentioned this we talked about the stairs but but what makes this course one of a kind well truly i think what it's the so we gave the trail builders really a blank canvas, right? Sure. This beautiful Ozark mountaintop and the opportunity to get every foot out of it was built with intent to international race standards. And Centennial Park at Millsap Mountain is now home to both a cyclocross and cross country mountain bike race course, okay. truly creating a one of a kind venue here in the United States. That's nice. amazing. Now you said, what are we, nine days out from the event right now? Nine days You're out. going on very little sleep. <laughs> we, are, we, are in it. we are in it and ready to go. Yes. That's that's right. We are nine days away from the 2022 Walmart UCI Cyclocross World Championships coming right here to Fayetteville, Arkansas, January 28th through the 30th. I love yeah. that. How can people get tickets? That's a great question. Cyclocross Fayetteville AR 2022.com. Okay. Just hop on there. There's tickets, all the information you need about the event. We'd love to have everyone there. I love that. Now, can we talk a little bit about the course, a little bit more about it? Sure. How was it constructed mm -hmm. specifically for this event? So we brought in some of the top builders in the country, professional trail builders. They literally, we like to say, moved heaven and earth. They moved 3,000 tons of rock. They wow. built wow. four different tunnels. Truly, they have crafted a race course and venue capable of hosting some of the most elite and prestigious races in the world, like the World Championship. Yeah. I love that. What are you looking forward to yeah. most about the championships, Brandon? I think what excites me most about when you have the opportunity to create a venue like this is really what it creates for the fans, that fan mm. experience be between the tunnels and the flyovers. As the race is going on, the fans are allowed to move around the entire race course and kind of follow the action through these different features as these professional athletes from literally all over the world tackle this race course. Yeah, and obviously spectators are a huge part of the event, but let's mm -hmm. say our viewers right mm -hmm. now maybe want to uh, volunteer some hours to this event. Is that possible? Are you still taking volunteers? Absolutely. We're still grabbing volunteers. That is available on that same website, so okay. we'd love. Um, it's going to be a great volunteer experience. We're going to outfit you in some super fun commemorative. There's these big bobble hats. <laughs> They're bright, colorful. We're going to give all our volunteers to get to take one home, so the volunteer ex will be an experience, so we encourage anyone that wants to come out and be a part of that World Championships, just yes. hop online and sign up. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for filling us in. You've got me excited. I know you're going yes. to a little sleep powered by coffee, but I am just, <laughs> just talking to you. So thank you. Yeah, for thank, thank you, you so absolutely. much, Brandon. Yes. <laughs>